Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be reviewing the Anycubic Photon Mono for Ultra, the latest resin printer with some impressive specs. Let's take a closer look and see how it performs. The packaging was solid and everything arrived safely. The unpacking process is easy and intuitive and can be done without additional instructions. After removing the printer from the box, it is necessary to remove all plastics and protections. Inside, we have the printer itself. A very nice quality build platform with a textured surface, the resin vat, and a box with the AC adapter, USB drive, gloves, tools. The build quality feels sturdy, with a minimalistic design. Let's take a look at some of the standout features of the Anycubic Photon Mono for Ultra 7-inch screen with 10,000 high precision 9.0 to 4 x 5 to OPX resolution. This screen delivers incredibly sharp details, perfect for capturing fine textures and intricate prints. Maximum printing speed of 120 mm per hour. You can print large or tall models much faster than with previous printers without compromising quality. Textured build platform. The textured platform offers excellent adhesion, so prints stay secure throughout the process and avoid failure prints. It's also strong and very difficult to scratch. Fast and responsive touchscreen. The touchscreen is smooth and responsive, making it quick and easy to navigate through settings and manage prints. A small but helpful feature the resin vat has a bulletin level indicator, allowing you to easily measure how much resin is left and avoid running out mid-print. The self-check system includes residual resin detection, leftover resin monitoring, failed print detection, and intelligent lifespan management, all designed to make your printing process smoother and more efficient. This is the most advanced feature and we need to dig more in this one on the future. To start to set everything up, you need to replace the plastic sticker with the protection film on the laser screen. Make sure to remove all air bubbles. Then install the resin vat and fix it with the locking screws. And finally remove the protection film from the build platform and screw it firmly in the elevator arm. Always put the lid on the printer to avoid problems. Connect the power cord and plug in the USB memory stick. Turn on the printer, wait for loading, select your language and region. Now you can start the initial startup. This printer is very easy to level and calibrate. Just go to the control tab and start the process. You must follow the instructions that appear on the screen. Start loosing the four screws of the build plate. On the next step, wait until the automatic level and calibration finishes. Save the new values and tighten the build platform screws. They need to be very tight. And release up the build platform. Now it's time to fill the vat with resin. I used the Anycubic Water Washable Resin Plus for all my prints on this video. Setting up the Photon Mono for Ultra is simple and intuitive. I used the pre-sliced models that come on the USB stick to test the printer features. First I printed a very intricate and detailed totem to check the stability quality using the maximum height. Then I printed a funnel to test texture and speed, and the default Anycubic model with very tiny details. I also printed a 1 6th version of Thor's Hammer and Loki's Scepter to test the Anycubic Photon Workshop app, which is easy to use for slicing and prepping models. Let's take a look at the results, starting with the test prints from the USB. The tall totem came out beautifully, with no visible layer lines even at the printer's maximum height. The funnel print shows smooth surfaces and clean textures. The default Anycubic model showcases intricate detail. The prints of Loki's scepter and the Thor's hammer turned out great as well. The Photon Mono for Ultra captured all the small details, and the fast printing speed meant these models were ready much quicker than with other resin printers. Let's break down the pros and cons of the Anycubic Photon Mono for Ultra. The pros. Stunning 10K resolution for incredibly detailed prints. Fast print speeds, especially when using high-speed resin. Smart features like resin detection and print monitoring. Level and calibrate is really easy. The cons, slightly noisy when it is printed. Models are hard to remove from the build platform. In conclusion, 
the AnyCubic Photon Mono for Ultra offers a fantastic combination of speed, detail, and smart features. Whether you're printing detailed miniatures or larger projects, this printer delivers exceptional quality. If you're in the market for a new resin printer, this one's worth considering. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3D printing content. Have any questions about the Photon Mono for Ultra? Drop them in the comments below.